everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm sharing with you all my recipe for a sorrel punch -a creme or punch de creme. So this one was highly requested and I knew I had to make it for you all this Christmas. So let's just jump straight into the recipe. Let me show you how easy it is to put together. So to start this recipe, I'm using the stallion punching rum and the sorrel concentrate from Caribbean flavors. You guys can get this in Trinidad or at BDC in Florida. So to make this, I'm starting in my pot with three eggs and my eggs are at room temperature. Next goes in a third cup of milk and I'm using whole milk or full cream milk. I'm adding in a piece of lime peel. Whisk that in and we're going to whisk that for about a minute or two to help cut the freshness of the eggs. Once you finish whisking that in, go ahead and remove the lime peel. And in goes one cinnamon stick. Now I'm going to place this on my stove on a very low heat and allow it to warm through. You just want it to get nice and warm. You don't want to scramble or cook the eggs for too long. Once it's done, remove it and cool it down completely. Next, I'm going to add some nutmeg to my mixture. In goes some vanilla essence. Whole milk, and I want you guys to use cold milk. If you use warm milk, it can curdle when you add the sorrel. In goes heavy cream or evaporated milk, a few dashes of Angostura bitters, a quarter cup of condensed milk or put to your taste preference. Now I'm adding in the sorrel concentrate a little at a time. In total, I used a half of a cup of the sorrel concentrate. You feel free to put more if you wanted to. So you just want to mix that in really well. You'll notice it's more of a lilac color. You're not going to get a very bright pink color. I added as much as I had and it still didn't give me a really, really bright pink color, but it was a really beautiful lilac color. So next I'm adding in the punch and rum and I'll mix that in. Now at this point you can taste it. Look at it guys, nice and smooth. It's not curdled at all. You need everything to be really nice and cold. You don't need anything warm or else it will curdle. Now I'm going to strain this. Once it's strained, you can go ahead and serve it over your ice. Or you can just serve it cold without ice so you don't have to dilute it. So if you'll follow my instructions, make sure you use everything nice and cold and nothing warm. You'll have a perfect sorrel punch -gram. I've tested this with the fresh sorrel and it actually curdles. So I think you guys should get the concentrate to make this. So thank you all so much for requesting this recipe. Do have a safe one. I'll see you in my next video. Bye everyone.